The tragedy in Colorado is hitting home for one local family tonight. Nancy Schwab received a call last night that her nephew was at the theater where the shooting took place. They learned tonight that he had passed away. And I really just said to her, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. But as the night went on, Schwab and her family didn't hear from her nephew, 27-year-old Alex Sullivan. I saw that it was a theater where Alex worked. And uh, he wasn't working last night, but he was there with friends to celebrate his birthday. And we've all been very concerned because he hasn't answered his cell phone. Um, some of his friends are in the hospital, injured, and nobody was able to really give a definite as to where Alex was. Alex and his wife Cassie were married almost a year ago. Their first wedding anniversary is next week. He's a young husband, working hard to get ahead, and that brings the senselessness all the more in the forefront. Alex's father rushed to the hospital near Denver, looking for his son. 27 years ago today, I was at the hospital when, when he was being born. Okay, that's what I was doing. Now here it's going to be 27 years later, and I'm going to be, you know, be seeing him at the hospital for another reason. It's just sad that you can't feel comfortable letting your children go out. And you know, Alex isn't a child. He's a grown man. And it's very frightening. It is very frightening. We're all praying for a miracle. We're a faith-filled family, and we would like people to help us and help them, especially by praying that there will be a miracle. It's very hard to be so far away from them with this going on. Nancy is flying out to Denver to be with her family tonight. Live in the newsroom, Benjamin Amy, News 8. Kevin, it was a stirring rally here tonight at Greece Apollo Middle School, one filled with hope and calls to end bullying. Yeah. Over a hundred people showed up to give their support to bullied school bus monitor Karen Klein. You handled this very challenging thing with class, compassion, dignity, and really even forgiveness. And I'm glad to see that those boys have wrote letters of apology and hopefully they will get on track. But you made something that could have been awful into something good. Politicians, parents, and students from all around Monroe County came to express a simple message. Stop bullying now. The whole reason I'm here is because I'm sick of everybody bullying. I've been bullied my entire life. We've all been bullied our entire life. And what happened in uh, Karen was unimaginably horrible. Klein and her family were also at the rally. Afterwards, she told us what the outpouring of support means to her. I wish I could send each and every one of them a thank you note. I can't. I can't even get through my emails. It'll take some time to, uh, you know, overcome this, but she will, she'll get through it. Those who attended tonight had the chance to sign Monroe County's anti-bullying pledge, like this one. Over 100 were signed tonight alone. Blank pledges are available on the event's Facebook page. We have a link to that page on our website. The pledges are expected to be delivered to Monroe County Executive Maggie Brooks next week. Reporting in Greece, Benjamin Amy, News 8.